um, our focus was solely on uh, those uh, serving an IPP sentence, um, which is essentially a sentence that was abolished in 2012, has still has, I think, six, over 3,000 people in prison serving it. Um, most were given a very minimum tariff. Uh, I think 96% are now over tariff. Some of those are by 10 years or more. Um, and so, well, you know, there obviously is a huge mental health issue within prisons, but what, what we do know is that those serving an IPP sentence have a mental health at a much higher level because of the indeterminate nature of, of the sentence and, and they're not knowing when they're going to get out and if they're going to get out and kind of they, they often lose hope. So the self-harm and suicide rates are extremely high for those serving an IPP um, sentence. In fact, I think it's it's, all, it's I think it's seventy percent higher for both self harm and suicide rates for both um, for anyone on the sentence. So when the opportunity came up to submit something, we you know we wanted to because it's such a huge issue. Um, and you know within the submissions, we we asked families to submit evidence um, that we could then put forward in this report alongside the evidence that is proven to show. Um, that this is true so you know all of the statistical evidence um, and so you know I think we felt that it was an opportunity to kind of flag up this issue because you know not only is the sentence causing people to have extremely severe mental health issues uh, they're also not given the support with that so if they if either if they do manage to get released they're then recalled because they're coming out with no support for their mental health or they're just lost in the system because their mental health is so um, so bad that then they're then deemed too dangerous to be released because of the damage it's done to them. Um, so, you know, that is that is the reason that we submitted the report. And I think all the other thing that we, we know ourselves from having kind of direct experience with this is, is, is the lack of support with mental health in prisons. And almost for many, they're punished um, if if they are showing signs of mental health, report, you know, mental health issues or psychosis, um, you know, and which again will then just make that situation a lot worse for them. So, you know, the, the, again, the report was predominantly around IPP and kind of the damage it's done to people's mental health, and that idea that that's then keeping many people in and nothing's being done to support them.